So in addition to this data tracking, Intact offers a lot of potential for different workflows as well. I briefly mentioned some approvals processes and, and there certainly are different levels of a, different approval workflows that you can set up. So you can set up workflows that are based off of dollar value. So if, um, if you wanted to say when it gets a certain dollar value, then it has one approval um, process. And if it is a different dollar value, then it goes up to a different level. So that's certainly something that you can do. You can do it based off of the coding, whether it's a department manager or a project manager that goes through those approvals. So I'm just going to show some of these approval policies we have. We can set up all different kinds of rules that we want. So if it's based off of value, based off of departments or managers, projects, or we can hard code individual names as well. And we can add different steps into that approval process. So that's one way that helps us to walk through um, the workflows. And another is we can define our transactional workflows. So for example, in purchasing, we could say we have purchase orders for stock or for inventory. They get received and then they get matched to the invoice, that three-way match. Or we could say we have a requisition that goes to a purchase order and just goes to a vendor invoice. So we can set up as many different workflows. This is around purchasing, but we could do the same thing for around billing. As many different workflows with as many different steps as we want. And each step could require additional fields or um, have a certain approval policy applied to it. All right. We also have workflow around uh, retainage. So, uh, Intact can, of course, uh, withhold the retainage both, both on the AP and on the AR side. But the next step of that is not just to withhold the retainage, but how does that retainage get released? So within Intact, we can say um, we have this process or this workflow for release of retainage. Every invoice that was retained would get added to the list here um, of the amount that was retained. So this invoice was $1,000, 10% was retained. And when I'm ready to re release that retainage, I can come in here and check the box that I want to release this retainage. I could release all of it, or I could say I want to just release $50 of that retainage. Or instead, I could say I want to um, do a percentage release. So let's say I wanted to release 35%, and all of the invoices that were retained would then um, be ready to release 35%. And when I release it, when I click on this button to release it, then it creates a invoice for me to pay, a bill for me to pay for that released retainage. So it ma maintains that um, kind of that retainage ledger to make sure that all of the, uh, we're accounting for and working through the workflow of all of that retainage. Um, 